Let her go. This is all the lore of Miorzo. Thanks. You've given us a lot to think about. You know what's helpful? There's this magic cucumber that'll turn any dish into a gourmet meal. I think we'll pass. Could we- I feel we may need to impose on you until our friend has calmed down. Hmm. You are free to use the house next door. No one lives there right now. Thank you. Okay, let's be going. Everything the Elder said is true, isn't it? His interpretation of the murals might not be perfect, but with all he told us, it was very convincing. We knew this was a global problem once we talked to Pharaoh. He granted us time because he knew how we would react when we saw this. He probably wanted to show us humanity ain't cut out to handle the situation. And to make us give up on Estelle. So everything's just going according to Pharaoh's plan then? I will not let that happen. Never, I won't give up on her. The Cataclysm? The Autophagos? If that legend's true, then maybe the power of the Child of the Full Moon isn't the only thing to blame for bringing out the Autophagos. But what about the hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the children of the full moon part? Maybe they averted danger by killing the cause of the Autophagos, the children of the full moon. But, but wait! Aren't the Hermes Blastia the real cause? Can't we just stop those? It might not be just the Hermes Blastia. That legend made it sound like all Blastia disturbed the world's air. Right, Rita? The elders said that Blastia are Blastia. There are no normal ones or special ones. I think that means the only thing that's different is how much air each formula uses. Even the Blastia we're using? Bodhi Blastia are special, but all Blastia utilize air in a formula. They're all the same. And formulas need air to work. The Hermes Technique, the Children of the Full Moon, they're probably only part of the danger. With more and more Blastia, the Autophagos will awaken. This is what the Entelikea are afraid of. That's what I was worried about. I didn't want to admit it. Blastia couldn't be bad. The people who used them for evil were the bad ones. That's what I always believed. But I was wrong. So does that mean we have to stop every Blastia? Like the people here in Murzo did? That's impossible. We need Blastia for our everyday lives. Barrier Blastia, Aqua Blastia, Bodhi Blastia too. Yeah, you're right. I couldn't take on a really tough monster if I didn't have this. Yeah. I wish we could use Blastia without worrying about consuming air. But I guess that's just a dream. The Rizomata formula. What's that? All things exist due to the sublimation, reduction, formation, and dispersion of air. Some think that a still undiscovered theory could freely manipulate those essential mechanisms of air. Formulating that theory is the ultimate goal of current magical research by mages around the world. So that's the Rizomata formula? If it's found, manipulating air will become so much easier. Of course, we need a formula to reconstruct air from power that was originally converted from air. But Estelle's power is actually directly manipulating air. Estelle is the closest thing to the Rizomata formula. If we can use a formula to interfere with and neutralize Estelle's power... I don't really get it, but if you work out that formula thing, then Estelle can live in peace, right? So by that logic, if we could control the excess of air, we could prevent provoking the Autophagos. Awesome! So we're supposed to go looking for some formula that researchers all over the world can't find? Now you're really dreaming. I will figure out this formula. For Estelle and for me. Yeah, you do that. Huh? Raven, where are you going? For a walk. All this talk about saving the world, the ultimate goal of magical research. This conversation's a little much for old Raven to keep up with.
That formula sounds nice and all, but the air is getting worse as we're sitting here. Yeah. For now, we have to find whoever is making the Hermes Blastia. Otherwise, it'll be too late, just like Pharaoh said. But how are we supposed to find whoever that is? If we follow whoever's looking for Apatheia, they should lead us right to them. Cores are made from Apatheia, after all. So Flynn and Nan and their friends? Yeah. I wonder if we'll have to fight them. That's kind of up to them. I never should have left Estelle alone. Maybe I couldn't have done anything, but I should have stayed with her. She was so depressed. You're not responsible for this. Beating yourself up over it won't bring her back. I know. And what happened to Raven? He was acting a little strange. Do you think they're working together? I really doubt they'd both disappear at the same time. But why just the two of them? Don't make me start questioning your loyalties.